Friday, International Relations Minister Naledi Pandor has slammed trade unions for their silence and non-aligned non stance in the Israel-Palestine conflict. To date, over 2,000 people have been killed on both sides since uh, Hamas fighters rampaged through Israeli towns, spiraling violence threatening a major new Middle East war. Pandor addressed NUMSA's third International Dilemmas of Humanity Conference in Bromfontein. New Jim Africa's Zeniko Mklaba is following the story and joins us live. Zeniko, a very good afternoon to you. We heard uh, uh, International Relations and Cooperation Minister Naledi Pandor being, uh, um, calling for international solidarity, saying that it's imperative at this stage. That's right, in Paul, the minister was delivering um, her address at here in Bramfontein, where the international voices and international speakers, trade unions are gathering here in South Africa. Key among the things that all the speakers touch on was that issue of Palestine. The minister also not mincing her words in terms of calling for trade unions to take their space and also making sure that they act on the issues that they should be championing, but um, also mentioned and gave the delegates some historic background on how South Africa has been uh, using the United Nations to call for the, the, the issues of um, uh, issues that are affecting Israel and Palestine to be addressed and also the resolutions to be implemented which were resolved at that platform. She joins me now. She's the Deco Minister here in South Africa. Uh, Dr. Pardo, thank you very much for taking time out to speak to us. Your, your address was very clear. You're very vocal in terms of calling on trade unions to vocalize themselves and act and not just um, you know, speak and also take to the streets. But looking at the South Africa's position, do you think we're acting enough, we're decisive, we're decisive enough in terms of expressing our condemnation of Israel's acts against Palestinians? Uh, well, good afternoon and thank you to uh, Newsroom Africa for this opportunity. I also wish to uh, really congratulate uh, NUMSA and its allied organizations for having uh, organized a conference of this nature where uh, the core theme is to discuss the dilemmas confronting humanity. I think uh, it's a timely conference uh, because the world is confronted by so many uh, complex crises, among which uh, is the current uh, uh, conflict uh, in Israel and Palestine, between Israel and Palestine. South Africa has done uh, as much as it can to be a progressive voice uh, in this conflict and as always, South Africa calls for peace and for settlement of disputes by negotiation. South Africa insists upon observance of relevant United Nations resolutions, of which there's a plethora uh, on this question. Uh, we all know that Israel is occupying land of the people of Palestine and has done this in breach of international law. And we want full observance of international law. And as the South African government and the African National Congress, the governing party, we will continue to provide whatever support we can to the people of Palestine in the course of their struggle. But of great importance in terms of this conference, NUMSA has brought over 70 organizations to this gathering. And there are organizations from all over the world countries of the South, even the United States of America has organizations that are represented here. So this means you have a global forum uh, led by uh, an organization that is known for its ability to organize workers. So the key issue I was placing before conference is why is it that we as South Africans were able to marshal international solidarity against apartheid? Why is it that we cannot marshal a similar solidarity today in the interest of the cause of the people of Palestine? And really, I'm saying the unions have to answer. So, Minister, one would say uh, South Africa maybe should be considering maybe um, banning the Israel embassy in South Africa. Do you think it's, the, it's, it's time for that? Uh, are, are we ready or do you think there's still space for South Africa to, in, to entertain issues of negotiations, of peace? Because some other people are saying, let's act, let's be decisive. Well, I think my own approach to action is that you must take action that will have an effect. I, I don't believe in taking action for show. 
because it may look very radical, but it doesn't advance anything. So I'm open to having a discussion around uh, the presence of uh, the Israeli mission in South Africa, but also our own uh, mission where we have reduced uh, the status by an ambassador not being appointed there. I'm, I'm open to a discussion, but I wouldn't like to recommend or for the government to take a decision that eventually will have no force and effect in terms of the core issue, which is the freedom of the people of Palestine. Minister, can you give us the latest developments as far as South Africans who are caught in the middle of that, um, of, of that war? Uh, have you been given numbers? Have you been given in terms of what kind of help they need, if there are any people are still stuck there, and if maybe there are any people who have lost their lives there? Well, as you may know, I was actually heading to Palestine uh, when uh, the conflict uh, began, so I was advised not to uh, proceed with my travel. Uh, my team was already on the ground and they had to find a way to get back home. I'm so glad that they are now back in South Africa. If there are South Africans that are in distress, uh, we will assist uh, them. Uh, I have heard some uh, South African uh, voices speaking out in the region and it has tended to be people who support Israel. Uh, this is a worry um, and of course my responsibility as minister in this particular portfolio is if a South African requires rescue or assistance, I and the team should do everything we can uh, to be of help. All right. Have you received any word from South Africans, especially officials on that side, in terms of how the situation is in, rela rela in relation to South Africans? We're keeping a watching brief. Uh, thus far, we've not been informed of any South African that is in imminent uh, danger. Our Officials at uh, the embassy are, are safe. Uh, I know that there are South African citizens, many of whom have dual nationality, uh, who are in, in Israel, uh, but none uh, thus far have called on the government uh, to rescue them. Thank you, Minister Wait. Thank you. Thank you. That's the Prime Minister here in South Africa, Dr. Nalid Pano, giving us insights and South Africa's position on that particular matter affecting Palestine, but also very important, also saying that there isn't any reported uh, fatalities as far as South Africans based on that side. So that's the um, situation here in Bramfontein. Uh, the conference will be continuing until the 18th, it's dealing with the international di uh, dilemmas of humanity. So uh, back to you, Paul, for now, we'll touch base with you a bit later on. Very well, Let's uh, leave it there for now.